morning folks and it's Tuesday the 9th of April and it's coming up to 5 o'clock and I've actually been able I've, look at this long corn there I've actually been able to to cut the lawn it's a lawn it's, the lawn's rubbish it's full of moss and it's full of daddy lands and it's even got thistles in there, so I have to dig a few of them out. I don't want the kids to fall on the thistles, but I actually managed to cut the lawn. And this is the first cut in months, and it was wet, but I just bogged on. What can you do? And it's threatening rain there, I can feel spits, but there is blue sky, so I just got on with it. I'm delighted to get that done. Well, it's rough and ready. Needs the borders are shocking. There's grass growing up through them, but uh, it's a good start. This is my first post heart attack lawn cut. Um, I'm still here, I've survived it. And it's just been very blowy and very cold today again. It's, uh, it's so disappointing. So disappointing. What has happened to our weather? There. Good friends, Chris and Anne over there in Bampton and Yorkshire sent me this box, small box with poppy seeds in it. That's very kind of them, but look at the price. Nearly a fiver for that wee box. And sadly, I've had to uh, stop feeding the birds because our eldest son Connor is coming in a few evenings and he spotted two big rats. Not mice this time but rats running up the trellis. I'm disappointed. Now you'll know that with of leases um, about the place we've seen them but I haven't seen the rats and he saw them two or three times so I've stopped feeding the birds because it's just attracting the rats and I don't want them to get into the garage or get into the car which is what happened to, to Chris they're the nice, nice tulips Oh, do you see the garage? The garage is like the garage is like autumn, but the number, the amount of leaves that has been blown in. I have to sweep that up or or suck it up in this thing. We're using this thing. What do you see the other one? You clean it up and then you you get. Oh, this this one's not so bad. So thanks, thanks, uh, thanks, Chris, for sending me that box. That's very kind of you, spending your money on the likes of me. And look at the, look at the rhubarb. Can't believe that. I started reading this the other day. I have to get back at it. It's been a very blowy day. We had a lot of washing hung up, so it's a good drying day, as they say. Our driveway is like a wind tunnel. You walk up and down it, you're near blown to bits. And I never thought, whenever they were wheeling me out, the paramedics 
I never thought that within two months I'd be mowing the lawn. Glad to be here, folks.